What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Laurel. She actually showed me a story I want to go over with you guys today, which was absolutely shocking to me. And it's actually kind of gives us a state of what's going on here uh, in our country today, which is unbelievable, right? And I'm going to show it to you here today. Take a look at this. All right, so go ahead, Laurel. I'll let you do the honors. Photo of Mickey D's prices at Connecticut restaurant goes viral. Yeah. So, and I actually just went on a little bit of a road trip and we actually kind of both did. Well, we can preface this by saying that this is a rest stop Mickey D's. So, you know, on a, on a toll road. Yeah. So it take that with a little bit of a grain of salt, but this kind of gives you an idea of... <clears throat> What's going wrong with a lot of things here today is that the prices of things are just getting crazy, absolutely crazy here today. Take a look at this. The McDonald's meals at a Connecticut location are going viral for all the wrong reasons. And no, it has nothing to do with the disturbing Grimace birthday meal TikTok <laughs> trend. The meals, which included a Big Mac combo and a quarter pounder combo, we're selling for seventeen fifty nine oh for the Big God. Mac meal, and seventeen ninety nine for the quarter pounder meal at McDonald's restaurant on I ninety five in the town of Darien. And the photos uh, that we have uh, on Twitter were shared by a Twitter user. I'll show you that in a second. But eighteen dollars for a Big for, Mac for a sandwich. A fry, a fry and, and a, a drink. drink. One sandwich, one fry, and a drink. $18 at McDonald's. Yow. Unbelievable. What are your, so what are your initial thoughts? And then I'll, I'll show the picture here in a second. Well, my, my first thoughts are, um, one, it's a restaurant on a toll road at a rest stop. So that's a, a captured audience. And the prices at rest stops are always higher. No matter what. All right. But, so, but so, still, I just feel like but prices. That's, that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that. That's a lot of people, though, that I, have to that go and get those. I know. But that's the way they are at the rest stops. It's a, it's a captured audience. They know that they've got you. They've got you, you know. It's price gouging. Folks, and, they're, right? and they're allowed <laughs> to get away with this. This they is are. happening to millions and millions of people. Yeah. Uh, and McDonald's is supposed to be one of the cheapest restaurants or fast food restaurants, whatever you want to call it in America. If I this is the fact I would say that McDonald's, I wouldn't say that they're supposed to be the cheapest. Well, who's, I mean, how many places are cheaper than McDonald's? I don't know, but I wouldn't say that they're known to be the cheapest. All right. Well, how many fast food places are cheaper than McDonald's? Taco Bell. Okay. As my mother would say, Shout out to you, Ma. The meat comes in bags. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's not many places that you can think of that are that much cheaper than McDonald's, no, right? I it's agree. it's I one understand. of the cheapest, right? You had to really struggle there to come up with one place cheaper than McDonald's. Yeah. You know, so if if a if a ha or if a, not a happy meal, but a you know a, a combo meal is coming to eighteen dollars at this point. Well, it, things are getting it's, crazy out of control. It, Inflation is. Yeah, it shows the state redonkulous. of the economy right now. And the other the other thing that it reflects to me is it reflects that the. Minimum wage is getting out of control, and I understand where people need to be paid more because it costs the cost of living is higher, but. When you pay people more for minimum wage, we're talking about a minimum wage job where you are required minimum skills to perform this job. If you're paying somebody a minimum wage of $15 an hour or whatever they were trying to, you know, pass for the federal minimum wage a while back, the movement was. And even though that didn't happen, it is actually happening across the country. Yeah. McDonald's. When. And and Walmart and Amazon are actually paying that because yeah. they can't get to, they can't hire people for less than yeah. that. And what's it doing? I know when you do that, 
when you have a minimum wage that that's hot that is that high when you have to pay your employees a a wage that that's high you have to counterbalance that cost as a employer by raising all of your prices in order to be able to pay your employees and this is what's happening that wage it's it's there there's no way around it and a lot of people who who have only been an employee their whole lives we've owned businesses yeah, they, they don't that. they don't think about the fact that oh why can't they just pay me more well if if i pay you more i have to offset that cost this is the result of that so and here's the thing this mcdonald's wasn't even in new york city oh no or los angeles or or silicon valley like think about the like the high cost of New York City. We know we were there. I have to wonder how much was that breakfast that we had delivered from oh, that bagel place? Oh, it, I think it was like forty dollars. Yeah, but we, you have to remember though that that was that I did order um, lox, which is you know smoked salmon. I know, but I'm just saying. I mean, this wasn't even inside a really high cost of living area like New York City or is, Los Angeles. Is McDonald's In fact, prices at normal restaurants regulated across the country? I, I don't think so. Because if it was, why wasn't this regulated? Because it's a toll road. Well, if the prices are regulated, I don't think they are. No, no. So let me ask question. you a question. If if any of you viewers are in New York City or Los Angeles or wherever you are, put down below in the comment section how much um, a Big Mac meal, combo meal is at your McDonald's. Well, because I just, know. Just comment below what the prices are in your area. I know, because I'd be, example, I'd be like, very, very curious, or all of our view viewers would be really curious to know how much they are in your area. Well, like Hawaii and Alaska. Typically, for fast food, fast food restaurants are always higher because the cost of um, the transport to transport the goods there. And this, and this, continental was, this US. was like Connecticut. This was continental. Well, it, it's because it's a toll road. But think toll about Toll roads are always more expensive, period. Well, I mean, you're, thinking, you're talking about the highway, but even, think about all even, this. Even gas stations. Gas stations so look, charge so, more. So think about all this. You have gas stations. You have toll roads. You have the high cost of living area in you know New York, LA. Now you have Hawaii, Alaska. Like you have like literally that's fifty percent of the U.S. All we, oh we can charge you more because mm -hmm. of yeah. this or that. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You know. All right, so let me show you the picture here. All right, so here's the best I can bring up the the picture here because I know I'm in the corner. Um, yeah, seventeen fifty nine for a Big Mac. Seventeen ninety nine for a quarter pounder, and and real quick, and seven eighteen ninety nine for a quarter pounder with cheese and bacon, eighteen ninety nine for a quarter pounder of deluxe, so nineteen dollars. And, and meals only include medium fries and the medium soft drink. Oh yeah, doesn't even get you the large. And if you can, you move the pit. Yeah, if you guys notice underneath the um there's a smaller print there i believe it shows the price for the sandwich alone so the big mac is 829 yeah for the sandwich alone right the quarter here pounder guys deluxe is 959 yeah the quarter pounder is 959 Ooh, 10 for a sandwich and the quarter pounder with cheese is 859 and there's probably tax on, on top of this i mean tax isn't included you know that there's so plus Dan, tax they're charging almost an additional ten dollars Almost for a medium fry and a medium drink. Whew, that's highway robbery for some French fries or for some potatoes and a, and so, a drink. So ten dollars for just a fry and a drink. Whew. You would think that the burger is worth more than. So they're charging ten dollars for a burger and ten dollars for a fry and a drink because it's twenty dollars, almost. It's nineteen dollars plus tax. Rest in peace. <laughs> I mean. I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm at a loss for words here.
Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments because this is absolutely insane here. I, I don't know where the where the pitcher and pitcher cuts off here, but this is this is absolutely insane. Promotion pricing may be lower than meal pricing. Yeah, they always have their little disclaimers and stuff. I know, you know, this is insane. And here's the thing: it's just only going to go up from here. Oh, absolutely! It's only going to go up and from it here. It can't go back down. It won't oh, be going down. Yeah. And, and as wages go up and everything keeps going up, this is only going to get worse. Yep. And I, I honestly feel that this is why we're starting to see more and more AI replace jobs. Yeah. You, you know, you're you're going to, for better or worse. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Um, you're starting to go to Walmart's now. And you're starting to see more and more touch screens. And you can self checkouts. Self checkouts. They and have the self checkouts now. The self ordering at Walmart. Have you guys seen that in the WalMarts? Or I'm sorry, in the McDonald's when you walk in, yep. you have the two places where you can self order mm -hmm. because businesses they they don't want to pay pay employees. Well, and also, I mean, I think it depends on how busy the Walmart or Walmart or Walmart yeah, too. Walmart it. Walmart too, but. Um, Walmart's kind of had it, you know, self checkout for a long time, but mm -hmm. now, now McDonald's, and I guess it depends on if you go there during a busy time, but if you go there during a busy time, you know, you, you would have to stand in line. Well, now they have the, the, the computers there. You can just kind of go, depends on how many computers they have as well, but you can just punch your order in. Yeah. You don't have to necessarily wait in a line of 10, 20 people. It's, it's just kind of faster and, and you can just kind of get through a line faster and put your order in They're yeah. You're doing what they would have did. And again, some people will say, Oh, it's replacing jobs, it's replacing jobs. But on the other hand, it will bring the cost of your food down because you're, you're just doing what they would have did. Yeah. And you got to think when a big Mac, a fries and a Coke is $19, do you really want to continue to pay $20, $21, $22? For, I mean, because this is going to happen. How long until it's $20, $21, $22 yeah. for a Big Mac fries and a Coke? Yeah. And you might think to yourself, oh, I'm not going to go to McDonald's ever because it's too expensive. It's going to be like that everywhere. And and yes, yeah, McDonald again. McDonald's is one of the cheapest fast food stuff. And you be like, you can you can say, oh, I'm never going to go to fast food. I'm never going to. But you're going to go to the grocery store. The grocery store is going to reflect the same type of prices. Yeah. The price of everything is going up. Yeah. It's not, you can just it's take this, take this same type of thinking about the grocery store. The price of meat's going up. The price of grain's going up. We oh, just, the price of wheat is going we up. We just talked about a story about the price of what Russia is doing to the price of wheat. In fact, I'll link you to that story here next. Yeah. Because what Russia just did to the price of wheat has is skyrocketing the price of wheat all across the world and in the U.S. Yeah. I'll link you to that video now. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments, please. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and let me know what the price of uh, your guys' stuff of, of, of these combo meals and Big Macs is. And let me know your thoughts of, of the price of inflation. It's getting out of control. Yeah. So if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. Here are some videos you should watch next. Click here to see some massive changes that Walmart is making that you need to know about. Or click here to see what Putin is doing that is massively raising the price of wheat. Click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.